So it's about three o'clock in the afternoon on Friday, March 1st, 2024. We're running about a day behind, unfortunately, uh, but we are headed to one of my most favorite events of the year that isn't an epic adventure of some sort. We are headed to save the Southeast Adventure Vehicle Expo uh, in Stark, Florida. It's local to us, it's our own backyard. Man, we are so pumped to get there. We have some big events going on tonight, so I have to get there on time. So we're kind of scrambled. We're in the Florida Adventure Trail, Sunshine State Adventure Company tent once again this year, helping John spread the word about the amazing 1200 mile trail that circumvents the state of Florida. And uh, if you haven't checked that out already, it'll be linked down in the description below, but we are inbound, gotta make the big event. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. Stick with us. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with us tonight. We really appreciate it. We're excited that uh, this is saves ever first in, uh, well, first at least. Not only, hopefully there's more uh, like film viewing. But this is our love letter to Florida and to overlanding in Florida. Y'all ready? Yeah! Let's get it going. All right, morning one of the save, John. We got in late last night. Well, you got in late last night. I got in late last night, just in time for the movie premiere. If you don't know, we have a little side project going on with some uh, other collaborators like John from Sunshade State Adventure Company, Asia from Baptism Overland, sometimes the Sunshade State Vikings, uh, and Adventures with Danon. It's a great collaborative effort. Uh, it's a really good, fun time. About once a, once a year, we're gonna produce a, a pretty large scale video. And then on a monthly basis, we are going to release a podcast about a podcast yep so we're gonna link all that description below so you can find it uh but man what a great turnout last night yeah it was awesome uh really well responded to video and we we're just overflowing tent so exciting and motivating to do yeah. another one uh so stay tuned for that the other thing that we have going on today is we are manning the sunshine state adventure company tent mm -hmm. so you want to talk about that a little bit yeah absolutely so sunshine state adventure company creators of the first and only self-guided overland route here in Florida, 1200 miles, 150-ish campsites marked along the way. You can go to our website, download it, put it on your phone. We're talking about that all weekend long here. You're helping me with that, appreciate that. We also have uh, one of our sponsors provided products for us to sell here um, at the Save Expo, Moose Knuckle. Uh, they have some, I, I think, the most innovative recovery gear out there on the market right now with their uh, split shackle. You know all the technical specs, I just know that it works. So really proud to uh, be connected to them. And lastly, All Roads Taken um, is a company, a newer company yep. that's competing with the Jeep badge uh, business. You know, like every, all of us want to be able to memorialize and remember some of the trips that we do. Um, and those Jeep badges are cool, but what's the problem, Brad? Uh, if you don't own a Jeep, it's really hard to get. Correct, and you yeah. own a Jeep, but I don't own a Jeep, and right. so I can't get any of those badges. So All Roads Taken has created an app where you can log your trips, and they've added way more badges than Jeep Badge even has. So really excited to have them um, working with us, and uh, we have their Florida Adventure Trail badge here yeah. in stock, Georgia Traverse. Uh, Badge in stock, Ocala, Everglades, and a few others. So excited to work with them. Definitely check check out All Roads Taken. Yeah, appreciate that. So yeah. on the flip side of this whole thing, uh, the one bad thing is I found my tent was covered in mold. That's uh, gross. So that is a yeah, bummer. We're yeah. fix that. Apparently there's a small hole in the top and the rainwater just got in there uh, over the last nine months. It's not and, supposed to do that. And, no, yeah, typically designed right. to keep the water out. Right. So hopefully the weather holds out today because it's going to be a fantastic day. Yeah, yeah. I um, think it's going to be a little overcast, but I think uh, I think we should be good. We should be good. A lot I'm of vendors, you, a lot of cool stuff. Stay tuned or don't. It's really up to you. Yeah. Here at the Save Expo in Stark, uh, we mainly focus on spot graphics. For uh, we have Jeep Gladiators. We also have our Jeep, our Bronco line. Uh, our most 
popular feature is going to be your texture topographic, which is really hard to see on the camera. But what we do is we grab a contour map and every detail on it is going to have a textured feel to it, right? We have our side fenders, you obviously have your standard hoods, you have your name replacements, um, you also have your Black Bear Pass. And because it's such a customized feature, you can do any map that you'd like. Here we have the Black Bear Pass. Uh, Smoky Mountains, we have Rubicon, Mo Mojave, Ozark, uh, Ozark Overland as well. If you guys come over here, you see we have the vertical bet sides as well, which is a very popular uh, spot for you to add your sponsors right here and all of your supporters on there. We also have the tailgate for the Gladiator, and that one is using the Moab Arches National Park. And what you see here, we use cast wrap vinyl so that you can contour around your curves, right? This is very different from your calendar vinyl, which doesn't allow you to apply heat and it doesn't, con it doesn't contour on your curves. So it has air release features on it as well. So you're going to have your cast wrap and then your calendar. We use cast wrap. We print everything on a full, uh, full color all in one layer so that you don't have to layer different, uh, different vinyl colors. We're out of Jacksonville, Florida. Website is www.stickyvinyls.com with a Z. If you guys need anything, please reach out on social media or give us a call. Hey guys, Hayden here, the uh, founder and CEO of Backroads Overland Company. Uh, out here at Save Expo 2024, we've got our 2024 trail series that we're going to run you through real quick. Uh, starting off in the galley, we've got our swing out fold up table. This is all aluminum. Okay. We've got a very special process we go through to get a wood grain finish on this. You got this here as well as here, your premium galley configuration, several drawers in order to store your pots, pans, utensils, plates, things like that. 90 liter dual zone National Luna. So plenty of space, whether it's just you or the whole family going out for the weekend. Uh, we've got a rear spare tire swing back here as well. Gives you the platform to mount all kinds of accessories. Right here, you got your corner ladder. It gives you a good access to the top of the trailer for any kind of storage boxes, tents, anything like that. Uh, we've got our hot water heater, outdoor shower enclosure right here. Um, plenty of extra space down below as well for anything wet or dry. You've got a dedicated 11 pound propane bottle strictly for your hot water heater so the wife's never gonna run out of hot water on those long trips, right? Um, inside, we've got a true queen size mattress. That's a 60 by 80 sleeping area. Six inch thick mattress, so super cozy, well rested, nice sleep. Um, you've got this three layer CNC cut EVA foam deck on your steps to give you a little bit of extra cushion, some extra traction, really, really nice stuff there. Um, we've got our turn overland doors. Um, this is a really, really nice door. Keeps the trailer true for season. Um, right here, you pop your window open. You've got three different levels that you can prop this window open. It's a dual pane window, so it stays insulated really, really well. So if you're out in the cold or hot, it does extremely well. Um, you got your bug screen privacy shade all built in um, works out really really nice so up here to the front you got a 38 inch deep cargo slide with the ARB dual compressor tank and apex hose reel all mounted on there plenty of extra space to put your ALP Jenny extra gear you got a molly panel as well on the drawer and on the door to kind of store anything that uh, just needs mounted up out of the way um, clamshell box up here is gonna be anything that you need wet or dry storage for whether it's lawn chairs wood tools media equipment, doesn't matter. That's a good, good spot for it. Uh, your short power hook up here on the front, and then you've got your external 110 and 12 volt power ports on both sides, a total of 1110 volt outlets on this thing. So power galore. Um, whenever it comes to the battery system, you got 400 amp hours on board of this thing. It's lithium. Uh, so a weekend, no sweat. Doesn't need charge up or anything like that. Now, whenever it comes to the charging capabilities, you do have the option for portable solar hookups. You just plug that in right here and that's gonna get you back to the state of charge that you're looking for, or you could do some hard mounted solar on top. This one's got 240 uh, watts of solar on top, another 200 watt portable panel as well. Um, the Red Arc system in here is top to bottom. The Rogue, Red Vision, TVMS, you've got your Manager 30, you've got a 2000 watt inverter in there, keeps this thing going for anything you're gonna. All right, so over here to our lighting system on the outside, it gives you the option that you can do a white, amber, red, whatever color lenses you wanna throw on this thing. You can really kind of piece that out how you see fit. Keep that, you know, the bug situation down at night helps out a lot. Um, you've got another exterior power outlet here for your TV or anything else that you might need to run out here. Um, 20 pounds of propane on this side, and that's going to be the uh, supply for anything that you're going to use for cooking. Gas fire pit doesn't matter. It's there for you. Um, underneath, you've got 38 gallons of fresh water on board. Um, that tank is heated. 
all your water lines are insulated, so it doesn't matter where you're gonna be camping at, you're gonna have, uh, have water all the time, it doesn't matter. Um, back here, back to the power, you've got outlets inside and outside uh, for your 110, dual USBs and USB Type-C hookups, so no bringing extra charger blocks and losing those and the kids taking them, and now you don't know where they're at. Uh, Midland mic is bi-locational, so you've got 50 watt GMRS that you can operate from the rear of the trailer, or you can come over to the side. If everybody's hanging out over here and you want to kind of listen to the activity on the trail, plug this baby into the wall, you're ready to go. So when it comes to the construction of the trailer, we've got a four inch hot dip galvanized steel chassis uh, paired up with the Cruise Master XT coil suspension system. Uh, it's a true rock crawling suspension straight from the outback in Australia. Um, paired up with that, we've got their DO35 coupler with built-in handbrake as well. Makes offloading this thing super easy. You unhook, set your brake, start setting up camp. Hey guys, Jen from Seasucker here at the Save Expo. I'm so excited to show you all of our new products. So come right this way. New for us this year, we have our sink station, which is great. It comes with the basin that's collapsible. It even turns into a little cutting board if you want. It's great because everything we do vacuum mounted. Um, so you don't have to drill um, permanently into your vehicle. You can set it up anywhere on the vehicle it can be different from time to time so people are loving the sink station another new product for us is our new trash holder that we call the basking bag what's great about this trash holder in comparison to some of our other ones is that it does close which is great for storing trash if you don't have an immediate place to like put the trash bags it kind of can keep everything contained that bag is machine washable, but easy enough to just rinse out with a hose. And the next item for us, kitchen station has been redesigned this year. So based on a lot of feedback, we wanted to make it a little bit more compact while still providing a lot of tabletop space. So our kitchen station comes with this slide that adds an extra foot of space. And the great thing about it too, is that you can pop this tabletop right off and then you can actually, if you want, you don't even have to store this piece. This can stay on the vehicle while you're running. And it's just as easy to reinstall, just like that. And then you just put that slide in. And so it's really nice and compact. You just have to store this tabletop. Another item new for us is our new water port tank mount. Um, so we're working with the guys over at Climate and together we've come up with this beautiful mount that again, requires no drilling or permanent fixtures on your vehicle. Well guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys and we'll see you next year at SAVE. I am blown away by just how much this event has grown over the last couple of years. When we first came here two years ago, the whole middle section was completely empty. Just a couple of food trucks, but now it is filled with vendors and exciting products and cool people to meet. So, man, just the way this is growing, I'm super excited for the Save Expo, which I realize is redundant. Uh, Southeast Adventure Vehicle Expo Expo, but that's what we're gonna call it anyway. But like I said, it is just overflowing with vendors, cool products, and super cool people. Uh, so we're gonna walk around a little bit more today, but we got a couple exciting things going on tonight that we gotta make sure that we make. Uh, the first one is a King of the Hammer style 
obstacle course. They're gonna happen at night with some lights, some music playing. People are gonna hit the rock garden. It's gonna be awesome. Can't wait to see some people get stuck and some people make it and just uh, the drama that ensues from that. And after that, we have a special showing of our unknown 1200 Waypoint Unknown video uh, for some friends of ours that just weren't able to make it to the premiere. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure that they get special treatment and get to see that showing for themselves so they don't miss out as well. Here's a stainless spot. So this is what's on the inside of these. So it uses this lip over here. Yeah. So that way it hooks onto the door panel and not into the window. So it does, so you can roll your windows all the way down, all the way up, yep. and it's nice and secure. And that's how we can have big, heavy drinks and cups and stuff filled with water and ice in there, and it doesn't fall out and stuff like that. So yeah, they 48 a piece. Doesn't matter, cup holders, non-cup holders. So yeah. Hands down, best product. Hey guys, uh, Brad, thanks for stopping by. Um, John with Start Building Your Dreams. I've got a small YouTube channel. Uh, this is actually my second Gladiators. I love the build. We got the ARB bull bar, you know, just up front, Harbor Freight winch, lights. Uh, we did upgrade to the uh, B50 antenna. So big 50 antenna on here. And then we haven't touched anything with the engine or the electrical at this time. 371350 R17 Toyo MTs. Uh, these are actually the rock sliders off my 2021. So when I sold my 2021, I completely stripped it down. And so one thing about overlanding gear is, you know, think about your current platform and what platform you're gonna have. For me, I love the Gladiator. So everything in the back um, is something from my previous Gladiator, but it would transfer over to just about any truck, like the universal uh, truck rack. I've got the Clay in three and a half inch uh, Overland Plus lift kit uh, underneath. Uh, the diesel did not have adequate skid plating, so I went with the metal cloak undercloak skid plating. And some things I went expensive on, some things I went budget friendly on. So, you know, build a rig within your budget. And uh, so I don't have the fancy Falcon shocks. I run Rancho RS 9000s. They've got a great reputation. And then on the back here, I've got the brand new uh, Expedition 1 bumper. And I love this thing. It was like a, a Legos putting it together, but. It will fit up to a, a 40 inch tire. These are my 37s. On the back, I've got the Iceco fridge. I got my custom slide out. So all my tools, I had a toolbox in the very back and it's hard to get to, but I can get to all my power tools, take those with me. And then say I want to get to the pack out in the back. I just click that, give her a little tug. And I can pull the pack out all the way out and get to it. So behind that, I've got the, the two amp, 100 amp hour batteries um, from and Renji controller charger. And then I've got the fridge here. And then this is something really cool I like. This is from Grove Fab Works. This thing's great because I can take my Harbor Freight jack with me. Uh, this is a Badlands jack. It just comes right out. So you need to help somebody out on the road and you can get to your jack. The, uh, the CVT-10 has been great. I've been running that almost two years. And then I've got the Overland Vehicle Systems awning. And more importantly is the engine. So let's talk a little bit about the engine and I'll tell you a little bit more about the story with uh, my experience with snorkels and why I think everybody should have a snorkel. So a lot of people may ask, why do you need a snorkel? So I was that dumb 18 year old kid. I had an 88 Pathfinder. I drove through a mud hole at an event and I ruined my engine. A $400 investment at the time could have saved me thousands of dollars on an engine. Many snorkels, my gas gladiator had one of these. And the problem is when you go through Ocala or anywhere on a tight trail, you get leaves, you get sticks, twigs, bugs. And then if you're riding in the trail of a convoy going through the woods on a trip, this thing will just get full of dirt, dust, and debris, and it'll just cake your air filter. So if you have this type of, type of head, you're gonna be cleaning your air filter quite a bit. Now with the Cyclone, 
So it's a pre-cleaner made in Jacksonville, Florida. So how it works is your engine naturally is gonna create a vacuum when it's sucking in air through the combustion process, and it's gonna spin these rotors on the inside. And what that does is it creates centripetal force, and all that dust and debris gets kicked out the side. So if you look under here, it's gotta make it through this grate. The rotors are gonna take their action, and all the large debris and stuff that's too big for your air filter, it's gonna get kicked out this ejection port. And this is gonna keep your air filter clean, keep your engine operating and performing like it should, and let your filter live its happiest life. So one of this year's new additions at the Save Expo uh, is the Creator's Corner. It's a chance for all of your favorite creators to come be in one spot so you can walk around, meet them, uh, really interact with them, ask them questions, and, and kind of gain their experience and their knowledge, and, and they can meet you. And, uh, truth be told that some of our favorite part is meeting uh, the people that follow us on YouTube and Instagram and things like that. So it's an awesome opportunity to come down to Creator's Corner and do that. Some of your favorite YouTubers and Instagrammers are down here. Don't miss that opportunity. I think it's going to be a long-standing thing here at the Expo. Uh, man, it's just super exciting to have all these people. One central location. Honestly, you could spend all day walking around here, meeting the people that you watch on YouTube every day and just making new friends. Hey, we're getting packed up. The rain is coming, so it's about time to call this thing. But I talk about it all the time. The more and more I come to these things, the less and less it's about the gear and more and more about the relationships. And one of those relationships that I found myself in, that sounds weird. Yeah, that's a little weird. <laughs> uh, I, you know what? I'm comfortable with it. Let's go with it. Hey, one of the, one of the relationships that we've developed on this, uh, this last Save Expo uh, is the Flying Off-Road. Uh, so I'll let him kind of talk about his channel and, and where he's coming from, but he's doing some phenomenal, amazing work out there. Uh, and it would be a shame if you didn't head on over there and subscribe to his channel and kind of follow along with what his adventures are. So yeah, I'm Will. I run a channel called Defiant Off-Road. Uh, I've uh, I've been on the on the fat doing the Florida Adventure Trail since very early in the days of it. When John first published it, I was very excited. Being from Florida, it, it was huge to me to see fi Florida finally get its due and have a trail that would draw people from around the country and come there. Heck and yeah. I've been lucky because my two most viewed videos on YouTube have been from the Florida Adventure Trail. Yeah, likewise. Yeah, head over to his channel, support Will. Uh, he's a great dude, and uh, go on go on some adventures of your own. We had to get out of there quick because the rain came in and it came in hard, but we're back home unpacked. And I just wanted to jump on and say that I am truly humbled with the amount of support that you guys showed for our Waypoint Unknown side project we have going on here. And y'all came out to the movie premiere and supported us and just uh, poured into us. And, and for, for that, from genuinely from the bottom of our heart, we're so thankful. And we're so honored to have you guys along on this adventure with us. But if you missed a movie premiere at Save, don't worry, we got you. We're gonna post it over on the YouTube page and that'll be down in the description below so you guys can go head on over there. Like and subscribe to that. It's just a chance for us to create some collaborative content and some things that we would wanna see out on YouTube and I think that you guys are gonna love that stuff. So you don't wanna miss that. Tag along with us, it's gonna be awesome. Which perfectly brings me to the next point. Uh, there's a large group of content creators out there doing phenomenal work and I think it would be important if you guys don't already to head on over there, support those guys, show them some love, hit that subscribe button like Mark from Five Angels, the Adventure Off-Road X guys, Jake and Steve. Uh, you got Defiant Off-Road, Will and Randy, doing some amazing work over there. Start building your dreams, doing some really good content. You got Semper Gumby doing some fantastic stuff out there too. The Sunshine State Vikings, as you know, is doing some fantastic adventure-based content, not just overlanding. I just think that's really unique and not to steal their tagline, but they're doing more of what they love and, and they wanna encourage you guys to do more of what you love as well. So go check those guys out. Uh, they're doing some really, really fantastic work. And you got Matt Brody with Simply Must Go doing some awesome stuff. 
the Chambers family or the Chambers family overland. I'll tag all these down in the description below. They're absolutely worth checking out. I think you guys are gonna love what's going on over there. So don't just hang out here, but hang out with all of us. I just honestly and genuinely believe that it's a great opportunity to build a community uh, around the activity that we all love and hold dear to our hearts, and that's exploring, adventuring, and overlanding. So my challenge to you is to get out there, come on down to the save next year if you're not already planning to do so. Hit the fat along the way, create some awesome memories. Come hang out with us down in the Sunshine State. Have a great time. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tagging along, and I can't wait to see you guys on the trail.